Hi everyone, it's Sadia. So for today's video, I am unboxing the BoxyCharm by Ipsy for April 2024. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, if you're new here, my name is Sadia. I basically do boxes on videos on subscription unboxings, um, hauls, um, some makeup mystery boxes. So if that's what you're interested in, definitely subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss on the fun things I'll be posting every single week. Okay, so this is the BoxyCharm by Ipsy for April 2024. And um, if you don't know, Ipsy is basically a monthly subscription um, in which you get makeup and skincare and you can customize like three products and they will choose two products for you. And it's about like $34.99 per month, which is actually a pretty good deal. And um, you can get some nice high-end brands and you can, you know, try out a bunch of makeup and skincare and um, yeah. Okay, so I really think this was a good box. So the first thing I got, this was one of the things that I picked. This is the Pink Lip Soft Matte Contour Stick. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. We got a little flyer. Um, but it only says, I think, the Power Picks. Okay, so that's the flyer. And so... This is a contour stick. I actually thought this was by Persona, that's why I chose it, but um, yes, yeah, so this is by Pink Lips. I've never really tried it. I like the packaging, really cute. And this is how the bronzer looks. And uh, yeah, let's swatch it. So that's how it looks like. I really hadn't like how it's like a nice cool tone brown shade. Reminds me a lot like the Rare Beauty. Seems to blend pretty nicely. That is when it's blended. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to try that. The next thing I have is the Moon Prism Blush Palette. And this is by Lunar Beauty, so a Manny MUA. And I was really excited for this. I think this paid for the whole box. Um, and I think... This is, since this is a power pick, Ipsy chose this for me. So it is $35, which I think is decent. You get like some blushes. I think there's like a highlighter in here. Oh no, it's just blushes. Okay. So really pretty blush palette. Like look at that. And let's do some swatches. I actually don't have space, but I will do a tiny little swatch. Some of these are a little light, so it'll be hard to get. Ooh, that's nice. So those are like some of the blush shades. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really nice palette. The the formula feels really creamy. They're powder blushes, but um, yeah, really excited to try. And I love the packaging. I love that moon. I love how unique the packaging is. I really like it. Reminds me a lot like Sailor Moon. Okay, so the next thing I got was the House Labs, the Edge Precision Brow Pencil. It looks like this. Um, I've been liking Housewives products lately. I really like their concealer. I like their blush. So I was really excited to try this. This is something that I picked. I feel like with brow pencils, you really can't go wrong if you have a nice color. And so this is kind of the shade. It's a nice dark brown shade. So I think what I really like about this is that it's like it can it glide it's smooth it like glides smoothly but also it is not too creamy so you can really get and be really precise and create those lines like it's really nice and thin so i really like that i don't know why this reminds me a lot like the mac brow pencil okay the next thing i got that i picked was these misha beauty lip liner duos i've never tried this but like look at the packaging with pat mcgrath and i thought the lip liners were really really nice i wasn't a big fan of the choices this month to be honest so um the first shade is worthy it's like a really pretty like 
mauve shade or like reddish mauve shade really pretty and they glide really nicely and smooth smoothly and they are retractable which means you don't have to sharpen it it's just you just twist it and it comes up this shade is in beloved again it is a really pretty like they look similar but this is more like purple like it's more mauvey but yeah those are really really pretty i'm so excited to try these they look really creamy super excited because i feel like for me it's really hard to find a lip liner that's not too orange but like not too warm tone so like i know pillow talk shot told me that looks very red and orange on me which i'm not a big fan of okay um okay the next thing i got was the i think this is the last thing i got got this is the better than beep foreplay mascara i don't know i don't really like the names but yeah, so this is more of like a um, mascara primer and I did try it and I do really like it. I really like how it's nice and heavy and um, that's how it looks like. Nice sleek packaging. Um, oh, there's a little hair. That's kind of how the wand looks like, the banana wand. So um, yeah, I really like it. It coats your lashes evenly. It's a really nice primer and I like how it's like not white you know i know that there was like this one that i was trying from essence and it was like white and like my lashes would look white and then i would have to like make sure to use mascara and like coat every single lash but um yeah and then i got one add-on oh sorry the mascara is it's 29 dollars okay all right um i feel like it's a little expensive for mascara primer mascara not even a mascara but a primer but okay um and the add-on i got was the dr jart ceramidin skin barrier moisturizing cream and i really like this i have been using it ever since i got this box i really really love this um cream i just feel like it looks like that it's like nice and thick and it feel like it really has helped my skin barrier um, it's not greasy, oily, it just really absorbs into the skin and um, I think it was like $12 on the shop and I thought and I really liked it um, because I have really sensitive skin and I have I feel like I have a very damaged skin barrier because I remember I was trying retinol and I just I didn't know that I had to only do it once a week so I put it on every day and I feel like that really affected my skin barrier and so uh yeah, I really like this cream, doesn't make me itch. It's great for sensitive skin and uh, yeah. Okay, so um, I think my favorite things out of the box is definitely this Moon Prism palette. Like this paid for the whole box. Like this is beautiful. I think the formula is really great. <coughs> I think um, overall, this is a good box. So uh, yeah guys, that's this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, video, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and stay beautiful.